Hey guys, it's Skybird, and today we're going to be looking at the Borak Co. This is a really awesome little build that I actually created yesterday. I started working on it late last night, spent about two hours designing and refining the build, and just making sure that everything worked right, because uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more complicated than it probably looks like. So, the role that this serves in my headcanon, if you will, is the Krana Incubator, or, or essentially the creator of the Krana. And the idea is that these are little crawling Borak-like tiers or subspecies, uh, that don't really leave the hive that much, like you might spot them outside, but um, essentially they just kind of crawl around within the hive, depositing Krana to the Borok that are already in the hive, or to the Borok Va, who can, you know, then obviously carry them out on the field and use them to revive uh, disabled Borok. So I just think this is such a neat little concept, because the, the Borok is probably my favorite, uh, uh, like, enemy class that the, that the Bionicles ever really had, and so... The fact that that was in 2002 is just like, I don't know, it's such a cool thing. Anyway, um, so this does actually have a function built into it, which I think is super cool. It's not an offensive function, but I'll just go ahead and show it off real quick. You can just pull up on this to actually release the Krana. And I am at a bit of an angle here, so just trying to get my uh, uh, <laughs> everything, I don't know. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so it's a super cool little function here. It's got these little wings, which are just the Borak shield, and there's a little rubber band on the front here, which will actually pull those up. But this uh, windscreen here will actually lock in place, there we go, and uh, yeah, we'll actually hold those shields uh, down, essentially locking the Krana in place as well, so I think it's just such a cool concept, and the fact that I was able to get it, like, incorporated as smooth as I did, I don't know, it just, it's, I don't know, you ever build something that just makes you, like, super duper happy, because <laughs> this is definitely one of those things, but yeah, you'll even hear it, like, click into place because it locks itself uh, closed, which I think is super cool. One of the other interesting things, which you may have noticed while I've been kind of spinning this guy around, is that he also actually contains a mini Krana. That is actually a Krana that came with the Borak ink pens from 2002. There's not a full set, so you don't have to collect 48 of them. There's only six. There's one in each color. But I actually figured out, even though they have a proprietary connection point, so they're not really compatible with like other LEGO stuff, which is super unfortunate, um, the underside of the Krana uh, is spaced out in such a way that it'll actually grip the underside of the Borak uh, torso here. And it'll just hold itself in place. And I even tested this with, like, just a torso on its own without all the stuff built in. And, yeah, it'll hold itself just fine. You can flip it upside down and everything, and it does not, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't budge. So I think that's super cool. And the idea is that maybe that's, like, a crana that's being born or something. Or, or maybe it's a juvenile crana and it's being matured uh, to eventually be deposited uh, to a Borak. So anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, of course, check out my um, description because I will actually be leaving a link for my Patreon, which we'll talk about here in a second, where you can find the instructions for this little guy here. So yes, I actually have a Patreon now. This is a new thing for me. I did start it technically in March, but I didn't really like publicize it back then because I was just trying to kind of get used to it and obviously had a lot of stuff going on at home. Um, but there you will find uh, a few tiers. A, a $1 tier will get you all of the instructions that I post there, so I'm not like, you know, locking them behind some sort of high price or anything like that. Um, but a $5 tier will also get you um, some extra perks. Each tier also has a specific role on my Discord server, which of course I will leave linked in the description as well. And the $10 tier, if you join that, will also get you the like full catalog of all of my Rahi, so that's 150 plus files, as well as like any three um, like CAD parts that I've designed. So I've designed some like other Borak shields and other pieces as well. You'll find those there. You'll find different like logos and things that I've been working on, renders and uh, non Bionicle Lego mocks and Technic mocks and stuff. So you'll find just all kinds, of, all kinds of crap there, and I will leave that uh, link on my Patreon as well. So you guys will find it all there. I am new to all this, so this is definitely um, something that I want to get into more. I, you guys have probably noticed I've tried to be a little more active with, um, you know, YouTube. Obviously, I do have stuff going on at home, so I do always have to take care of that first. But, you know, I want to be able to do this more for you guys, and so any little bit will obviously help. I want to make more videos for y'all, and I want to, of course, make more Rahi and more just creations like this, because this is what I enjoy. I love it. I love inspiring people. And so, you know, what's better than that? <laughs> Can't ask for much more. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out my description for the Patreon link, as well as link to my Discord and my Instagram, where you can always get a hold of me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.